the Body Shop Hopper. Mash the barb on your hook, here Umqua U105 in size 6. Then, with beaver tail style foam body cutters, small, cut a body out of a quarter inch piece of brown foam. Cut the tag off free from the black of foam. Cut the rest of the tag off from the body and on one side round off all the corners. Then. On one side, go ahead and cut the tail up at about a 45 degree angle, and then the opposite side round off the corners. Then to give the body a more natural hook, touch a lighter up to the rough cuts, and push them down. This will get the body a more rounded shape. Then on your hook, cover the area from the hook eye to the point with a nice base of thread. Then go back to your foam body. From the head to the abdomen, or the two bumps, cut a section down. Stay free from the tail as the tail will ride out of the hook. Cut about a half a body deep into the body, all the way from the back of the abdomen to the head. Make sure the cut is uniform and is as deep at the head as it is at the back of the abdomen. Take small cuts as if you apply too much pressure, you may cut through the body. Then slide your body on the hook to make sure it fits. Align your thread with the back of the abdomen, or in front of the hook point. Put the body back on with your thread below. Open up the crease and place a couple drops of super glue in there. Then. Push the two, two push the foam together and wipe the excess glue off. Excess glue off. Hold it a little bit and let for the glue to set. Then once it's set, go ahead and put the glue away and create your first segmentation at the back of the abdomen. Don't put too much pressure on the thread as you may cut through the body. Then go to some grizzly micro legs. Select two from the clump. Fold it over and with the tips, take an overhand knot to create, take an, yeah, make an overhand knot to create a joint in the legs. Leave a section of tips about an inch long. You need to make two of these. Then go to your fly again. Align the knot with the back of the tail and tie it in in the middle of the foam on the far side. Then. Once you have it the way you want it, go ahead and cut the rest off free, but keep those as we will be needing the spare rubber legs later. Then do the same to the far side, to the near side. Make sure the loops are facing towards the eye and the knot towards the bend. Try to align the legs as best as you can. A little bit of pulling may need to be done. Then go ahead and cut the top three pieces in front of the knot off, leaving one back leg, and do the same to the far side. Then the back joint of the leg should be about a tail in length, so line those up and cut them to length. Now in order for the legs to be more durable, go ahead and cover the knots in Sally Hansen's or any nail hardener. Then jump your thread to this section behind the head. Go over the foam and tie it down, creating another segmentation. Then go to some crystal flash here in Pearl. Select one strand. Fold it in half and then fold it in half again. Keep the tips aligned. Then go to your fly. Fold it over the thread and bring it right on top of the body. And take a couple wraps to secure it. Then 
cut the flesh just a little bit longer than the tail. Now go to some bleached coastal deer hair. Get a section about a half a pencil in width. As you see, mine is very used. Comb out the under fur and short fibers and place them in a hair stacker. Go ahead and stack the tips. Once you have the tips aligned, you can go ahead and cut the butts off square for easier handling. Then go to your fly. Make sure the tips are about as long as the crystal flash. Once you get that measurement, you can go ahead and cut the rest of the butts off free. Bring it on top of the hook and tie it down right in the segmentation before the head. A little slight dome of deer hair will be made. Now, go to any bright foam here in orange. Cut a section a little under a centimeter in width and about a centimeter and a half in length. Then at a 45 degree angle, make a point with a little bit of square end. Now place the point towards the deer hair and right on top of it. And with thread wraps, secure it to the top of the fly. Now, use the rubber legs that we saved from before. Just fold one in half, or however long you have it, and fold one section over the thread and tie it on the near side, and then fold one over the thread and tie it on the far side. These will create the front legs. While they're long, go ahead and whip finish the fly, right on the second segmentation. Then go ahead and cut the thread off clean. Cut the front legs to about a hook gap in length on each side. Although not necessary, I like to add eyes. Any color marker or any kind of epoxy eyes will work, but marker is just easier. And that's it, that's the fly.